In the meantime, I can tell you one thing. Today we have three biggest exporter of Serbia are Chinese companies working in Serbia. It's Zijin Mining, uh, Hubis from Hubei province, which is steel mill. Uh, Zijin Mining is copper mining, and it's another Zijin company which is related to uh, gold excavation in East Serbia as well. And then we hope that this another private Chinese company, Ling Long, which is tire company, will become the fifth or sixth exporter of Serbia. It shows an importance of Chinese presence in this country. And uh, not to mention so many infrastructural programs and plans that we've been doing together and uh, we are planning together. And now some other Chinese companies getting uh, permission to start working on so-called Smiley Corridor in North Serbia, in Central Serbia, South Serbia, uh, different issues, uh, energy objects. Uh, they're finishing one uh, thermal plant uh, here close to Belgrade, 60 kilometers east of Belgrade, and many other things. It's, uh, it's uh, inevitable to say that uh, China has a very, very strong presence in this country, and we are very happy because of it. When people in Europe started like reiterating one issue, if you work with China, then you are going to have the biggest public debt to GDP ratio. They are using you. Then I went there to Brussels and I said to them, well, you see, we took many Chinese loans, but still when we speak about Serbia's public debt to GDP ratio, it's 51, 52%. An average public debt to GDP ratio in Eurozone, and particularly in European Union, is 92%. In some countries, it shows, over 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's some countries in... Majority of the countries, in a, and these are vast, big countries like uh, France, uh, Greece, uh, Italy, uh, and some other, Germany is around 86, and, uh, and we are 52. And I said, it's not about Chinese money. It's about your governance. It's whether you can calculate whether you have a good economy, whether you have a good growth, that you can cover it or you cannot. And then you go for money. Why Chinese money is worse than some other people's money or some other countries' money or some other organizations' money? I don't get it. And then they stopped with that story. Money painted uh, with the ideology on it. It's just... And when they start lecturing us about cooperation with China, and when I see the level of economic trade and uh, trade turnover of some of their countries with China, then I say, you're saying to us because we have 6.1 or 6.2 billion, and you have two or 300 billion turnover with China, and you're still lecturing us, and then they, Okay, Alexander, let us change this. Let us change the topic. Let us change the subject, and that's it. Facts speak louder. Um, yeah. 